Yeah, I think, obviously, I, I don't know the full extent of it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for that to happen so early in the game um, was obviously devastating uh, for her and for us. Um, and, yeah, it's not obviously the, the fairy tale ending that we wanted for her, that's for sure. Coach, obviously, a lot of those on you wanted tonight. Can you talk about Rose and Mel's impact throughout the She's world class. She's um, been someone that we know we need. Uh, we know makes a huge difference to our team when we can get her in areas of the field where she's dangerous. And I thought she took her goal so well tonight, and she was a threat every time she got on the ball. Right here. Coach, the impact that Rose had tonight in the game was quite unique. Is that something that you've ever seen or experienced before? Just but a ref not adding the time on that, I've never seen that before, no. The, the goalkeeping okay. Um, I can't remember an outfield player ever going in goal against me. Um, yeah, I mean, a goalkeeper handling the ball outside the area, yes, I've seen that before. Um, the amount of time it took to sort it out, the amount of time that it took to get the new goalkeeper in, and then for the game to be finished in 30 seconds was pretty wild to me. But. Right <laughs> get quick, be ready, be quick, get on. Um, there wasn't much, to be honest, it happened so quickly. Um, I actually thought she adapted pretty well into the game. Um, didn't miss a beat, to be honest. Um, you know, Pino and Boats are very different players, but. I thought she settled in well to the game and uh, and yeah, I thought she did uh, I thought she did a good job of um, getting herself into the game quickly. Laura, you talked about prior losses and sometimes the team hasn't turned off and sometimes the team has turned off and got beat anyway. I'm wondering tonight, did you feel like the team turned off and got beat or were there things that you thought did not go according to plan or um, no, I thought we did some good things. We created chances. Um, you know, they didn't create loads of chances. You know, Claudia didn't make her, have to make a ton of saves. Um, yeah, I thought, you know, obviously conceding so late in the first half. You know, the first goal, there's a foul on Rose in the build-up and nothing gets done about it, but that would seem to be the story of the game. Um, and yeah, just obviously disappointed to concede off a set piece so late in the half. Um, but I thought we came out well, I thought we showed well, obviously Veronica had a good chance. Uh, Boat wasn't offside when she got the corner, you know, I just think in big games like this, when you do turn up, you just need a little bit of luck. We got that last week, you know, with Veronica's goal. We didn't get that tonight. The rubber, the green wasn't our way. I don't think we got any decision our way, apart from the handball at the end. Um, and in big games, you need that, and we didn't have it. Quick follow there seemed to be a kind of a weird vibe in the stadium for the 10 minutes or so after Megan went out, and they scored to go ahead. Did that help your team in an odd way to kind of wake up and start playing? Maybe, maybe. Um, I think we were a little bit, obviously, set back by that. Um, I thought we responded brilliantly to them scoring, um, which we do a lot. You know, we do. We're a, we're a team that does respond to adversity. We've done that all year. Um, but yeah, you know, I think in these big moments you need to be either absolutely brilliant, which we were, and we weren't brilliant, but I thought we were, we were okay. And you need a bit of look of the green, and we definitely did not have that tonight. I don't, I don't have it, sorry. And then the other piece was um, just her ability to kind of turn the page within herself and help you guys on the sidelines. I was coaching because of that, your reaction. 
she's Pino, you know, she cares about the team, she cares about the club. She'd never have it any other way, you know. Um, and obviously everyone was devastated for her. Um, so yeah, we'll, we will regroup and assess and look at things that didn't go right. Um, but yeah, this one's going to sting a little bit just because you got to make big decisions in big moments and they definitely did not go our way tonight. Uh, uh, Laura, I thought that in the second half you were creating more chances, especially with Sophia and Bethany. When Bethany got more involved through second balls, I thought you had a lot more time and space. Did you see it that way? And from the chances you did have, what were the Gotham doing defensively that you weren't able to convert any of those chances? Yeah, we spoke about it at half time that we thought that Sophia getting it out wide and giving um, putting balls into the box for boats would be an area of, of a threat for us, um, and it was. Um, I don't know if they did a lot to stop us in the chance creation, or when we got the, the chances. When we got them, I think goalkeeper made a good save off Veronica, and just a little bit of quality in the final third. Like it's been a story of our season, pretty much. I just saw Pino try and change direction and like look back as if someone had kicked her and then realised there was no one anywhere near her. So um, I, I think it's her ankle or her Achilles or something like that, but I, I don't know for sure. What's the question? The U.S. national team, I wanted to get your thoughts on, on that. You were one of the finalists. I mean, earlier in the season said that you planned to stick with the name, mm -hmm. um, but to still be a part of that. Um, yeah, I'm still with the rain. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't really have anything to say on that. Um, I don't know anything officially about that. Um, I just know it, it definitely isn't me. So that's as much as I can tell you. Thanks, Good. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.